To the point that you made, though, which is a fascinating one about trying to get away from cash and perhaps tackling corruption in formal parts of the economy as well that, that you dislike, what are your views on a central bank digital coin in Pakistan? China's clearly making huge advances on this. Where does Pakistan stand? We are studying that very carefully. Mm. We think that some countries like China are already showing the way. The benefit of that to us is twofold. Not only does it give another boost to our efforts for financial inclusion, but second, because it's a central bank issued digital currency, it allows us to make further progress in our fight on, on towards anti-money laundering, towards countering terrorism financing. So we are at a stage, Julia, where we are studying it. We hope to be able to make some announcement on that in the coming months. For now, we have allowed a framework for digital banks to begin operating in Pakistan, banks which don't have brick and mortar presence, but banks which are purely digital, like challenger banks or neobanks. So we are studying it. I saw the world's biggest uh, fintech, Stripe, was eyeing the opportunity in Pakistan as well. Are they welcome? Stripe is very welcome. Other oh. such big international payment providers are very welcome. Pakistan is a market home to the fifth largest concentration of people. It's a market where people are generally tech savvy, and it's a market that's waiting to burst as far as digitization is concerned. Julia, during COVID, we did one thing, which is to eliminate fees on interbank transfers. And the impact of that was phenomenal. For the quarter that ended in December, we had growth of about 150 to 200% compared to a year ago on mobile banking transactions. For wow. internet banking transactions, Action, that number is around a hundred to hundred and fifty percent growth. So it is a market, you know, uh, 225 million people, approximately a very young market and a very tech savvy market that is very, very fertile for such digital innovation. So we are very open and we embrace any global mobile payment operator that wants to come to Pakistan. Yeah, you're redefining the role of a, a central bank, I think, and we wish you well and your people well. So great to chat to you, the government, the governor of the central bank there, the state bank of Pakistan. We'll speak soon, please.